everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Fiddle. I am an artist, a crafter, and a miniaturist that likes to teach others that they can be creative too. Link to scavenger hunt, patterns, and materials is listed in the description box below. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. It really helps me out a lot with YouTube's algorithm. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Today I'll be showing you how to make this little rocking horse. I think he's so cute. He was kind of a on the spot, I want to make a rocking horse type thing. And I'm glad I did. If you've checked out the scavenger hunt, I put on there that I'm starting out with my pieces already cut out. When you do have them cut out, go ahead and sand them. We want to try to make sure that they're all the same size. Okay, are you ready for gluing? The first pieces we're going to glue on are the front and back spacers. There should be one for each leg. I held them in place with a binder clip while it dried. Set the legs aside and grab the head pieces. We're going to cut the notch so we can add hair. Using the pattern as a guide, mark and cut your notch on the inside of each piece. We don't want to cut it all the way through. We want to make sure that there's a little bit of what left on the outside. Then lay the pieces down flat and using your knife cut about a quarter of an inch away from the edge between your first two cuts. Make sure that you're not going all the way through. Next stand it up on its side and use your knife to go in between the layers to break off where you'd cut. You might have to go back and forth cutting your lines over again until you can finally break it free. Once your pieces are cut, you should be able to put them back together and there be a decent sized gap to where we can put the hair in. Speaking of hair, that's what we're doing next. We're going to start with cutting our hair into lengths of about 3 inches long and you're going to need a lot of them, so maybe around 50 to 100. Once you have them all cut out, lay a bead of white glue along some plastic. It doesn't really matter what kind of plastic, a grocery bag would work just fine. Then we're going to add the yarn or string, whatever you're using for hair, strand by strand, all the way along our glue line. I believe I made three strands all together, and each one being about four inches long. A little tedious, but it's well worth it in the end. When you think you've got enough hair, set it aside to dry, and we're going to turn our attention back to the bodies. If you have any variations between your spacers and your legs, this would be a good time to sand those down. Now you can glue the legs to the body. If you want to, before you glue it down, you can mark out on the body where you want the legs to start, and that'll give you a guide point. I held it on with binder clips while it dried for a few minutes because my binder clip wasn't big enough to hold both sets of legs and the body together. But that's okay, we can move on to the head while the 
body dries. Glue both sides of the head to the head on the body. As you can see, I don't have a gap for the head portion. I didn't cut that notch out because I didn't know that I needed it until after the fact. Use a binder clip to hold them together while it dries, and we're going to turn our attention to the other set of legs. Before you glue them down, I suggest tracing onto the body where you want them to sit, and with the other legs already attached, it makes it a lot easier to get them lined up because it's very important that the rocker portion is even and straight. Allow it to dry completely, and then we're going to start on painting, so grab your brushes.
Once the body is dry, we can add the saddle by gluing a piece on each side and painting the center portion black. And while we have the black paint out, go ahead and paint some eyes on, and if there's any other details you want to give it. When you're happy with your details, our painting is finally done, and we can add the hair. Peeling the strands off the plastic is my favorite part. It's like getting something new. And anyway, once you have it peeled off, we're going to trim almost all of the glue off. You want to leave the slightest bit of strand held together so our strings don't come apart. Then add glue all along the crevice that we've made for the mane. Next, lay the horse down on its side to make it easier and start adding the strands of hair. I used two for the mane and one for the tail. Going from one end to the other, cut the excess off and then start back at the other end until you've used about two strands. When I got to the tail, I didn't trim as much of the glue line off as I did for the mane, and I used glue along that line and rolled it up like a snail shell. Wow, try saying that ten times fast. It took me three tries just to get it right once. <laughs> I am a goof. You will learn this. Anyway, when you have your cinnamon roll made, <laughs> decide where you want it attached and glue it down. After you give it some time to dry, if he needs a haircut, then trim some off. Now that his hair is cut, we can add the harness. For this, I used thin strips of pleather, one about a fourth of an inch thick and I'll say five inches long, and the other a fourth of an inch thick, about two inches long. Glue one end of the longer strap to each side of the nose, wrapping around the back of the head. Next, grab the smaller strip and lay it across the center of the nose and wrap it around to the bottom underneath of the neck where you can glue and shorten it excess if it needs it. And you may have to use a tool to get up into the crevice. Once the harness is attached, grab your diamond dots because we're going to add the rivet details. One on each side of the harness where the two pieces intersect. And with that, our little rocking horse is done. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next time.